welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you a very informative, quick, and straight to the point video. Not even sure how long this is going to be. However, um, my goal here is just to make sure that you get a realistic expectation of what to expect when you get a wig and how to really lay it down. I feel like there's so many tutorials that show you with like all these wig caps and glues and bonding ages and just so much that it becomes like a what do I do? Like, what? So I wanted to give you a realistic version of what I do when I first get a wig, or not even when I first get a wig, just when I'm tired of it. And more so, I just really want to put it on and go out of the door, kind of mind my business. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into that video. If you guys have any questions or would like more videos like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below, and let's jump right into it. Alright babe, so as you can see, I literally just have my hair in four braids. Now realistically, I feel like if you're doing this at home yourself, I mean, for the most part, even myself, I'm not sitting here with these freaking, these caps that everybody wants you to believe is the holy grail. Like, I'm sorry, but the amount of time that it takes to do this is just ridiculous because of course, here you are getting the cap, then you have the two different gotta be glues not including the spray it's just a lot and people will get on here and literally show you with a full face of makeup how to lay their wig when realistically it's completely nasty for number one um because when it's time to wash off your makeup boy you're still gonna have makeup up under the area that you put the frontal so i just want to give you a realistic version of what i do just to kind of lay my wig so here's a wig that i'm going to be using uh this is from premium lace wigs now they did go ahead and send me this of course all the wig details will be down in the description box below if I'm not mistaken this is a 24 inch either water wave or deep wave it may even be a body wave I'm not sure some type of wave going on I'll make sure to leave all the details down in the description box again like I said it already came pre plucked I did not have to do anything to this unit I did however bleach the knots very very lightly just because of course I really wanted to see how well they had actually plucked Plutch. I'll pluck the frontal and as you can see this is what it looks like so I, like I said I have not done anything to it I'm actually not going to because I really want you guys to get a true feel of exactly what it feels like to put on wigs like let's be real I'm experienced you guys may not be and I would hate for you to try to just buy these $400, $500 wigs that even I'm selling and then you get like false hope. So <laughs> again, this is the wig straight out of the packaging. If you don't want to bleach the knots, you don't have to. They already like lightly bleached them. I just like to take it up a notch. So yeah, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just cut off this lace. If you need a full detailed video on how to cut the lace off properly, I'll make sure to uh, link one of my uh, lace frontal videos in this one or just go through my page and you can find I have tons of them. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off now. Alright guys, so just just realistically, once you cut the lace off, this is pretty much how much I have around the perimeter. The most important thing is the lace color. This is what literally makes or breaks a wig. This lace color is in the color light brown, so it should go into my skin tone fairly easily. Uh, but as you can see, it is a little bit darker. But of course, the way that I kind of uh, maneuver that is just by putting a little bit of foundation on the inside of the wig just to make it very seamless. I'm not going to do this, even for this wig. I don't want you guys to have too much strife at all. But um, yeah, so I just have the part already kind of parted out. I went ahead and parted it after I did like a co-wash on the wig. That way it could dry in the way that I exactly wanted it to. Now on the inside of this wig, it does have uh, a wig combs and also an elastic band sorry <laughs> a little itch but anyway yeah so it has wig combs it has one in the side one in the middle and one on the other side sometimes i don't really need those i'll actually sew like an elastic band from here to here just to keep it really really snug but again just to show you this straight out of the packaging i want you to see what it looks like oh there's actually another wig comb in the back and then it has these uh elastic straps which tighten up which should make your wig fit really snug. So I'm actually gonna tighten these to the middle strap. It's similar to like a bra strap, and I have mine that tight. Like I said before, I'm not gonna be using this cap. You totally can if you want to, but as you can see, I have my hair braided into one, two, three, four braids. My parting is gonna end up being on the side anyway, so as close to that part as I can get it, cool. <laughs> Now obviously, <laughs> some people really wear their wigs like this far up and I'm like, bro, that's not gonna work. This hair is extremely dark, like 
this must be a color one this is dark I haven't had dark hair like this since the winter time so anyway first thing you want to do is just find the ear flaps which I have here they already pre-cut it out for me so just making sure that this lines up here to here and it does and then the same thing on the other side here to here and it does so right away my wig fits so that's good and then all that I have to do now, I'm just going to pull this hair back. And I'm taking my little duckbill clips. I actually got these from Marshalls. They were on sale. Y'all, well, I guess everything is on sale at Marshalls. But the clips, I think they were like 3 or $4 for like a pack of four. I was like, ah, oh, we lit. Anyway, as you can see, look at that part. And that's just for me bleaching the knots. Literally imparting this out and letting it dry that way. So already I'm proud. I'm not, like I said, I don't even, what's this for, sis? what <laughs> all right all right so now that my hair is pretty much out of the way definitely make sure that you moisturize your edges so that you don't have to worry about it getting super duper dry i had already moisturized my hair with coconut oil like yesterday i probably should do it again but I'm, i don't feel like it so yeah so you do have two choices you could either use the really really strong tacky gotta be glue or you can use the one that i feel like is more like a gel i'm gonna use this one just because i noticed that this one actually gets really white and flaky after a while so again i want to keep it simple for y'all i don't want y'all asking me no crazy questions like chrissy <laughs> but it got white okay that was so dramatic Anyway, so I'm just taking a little bit, uh, maybe about a dime size of this. I'm literally going to start to put this. Actually, funny part is, I actually put it directly on my edges, which is why I say moisturize your edges with coconut oil because you don't want them to dry out. But usually that's what I do. And this is actually my anchor for my wig. Like, I know putting it a little bit in front is definitely going to help to lay down the end of the, um, the lace. But my secret is literally put the gel on your hair. That way when the lace, I, you're going to see what I'm going to do. But that way when I pull the lace down, tie this down for probably about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll pull it up, it's going to lay so flat and flawless and it's not going to be that. The wig is literally holding off for dear life just within this area. It's holding off for dear life for about two inches. Okay. okay. <laughs> Y'all, I have not, I need to stop doing that. Okay. Anyway, so same thing around here. Now I do have some foundation on my face, but I made sure not to put any like around my hairline. So I don't have any on my forehead. It's just like on my cheeks from a little breakouts, but yeah. Realistically, people will probably tell you, go ahead and take your blow dryer, do this whole motion. Well, guess what? When you gotta wake up at six o'clock in the morning for work, nobody has time to be waking up everybody in the house for a freaking blow dryer. So guess what you do, sis? Let me show you how to most not task. <laughs> you go ahead and pull your wig, literally pull the wig down. Y'all, I'm actually showing y'all some real, y'all don't understand, this is really what I do. And I'll be on, I'm even, one of those people that have come on camera and shown y'all the professional way. But I'm just, I really need to show y'all that this is really what I do. Like, I don't sit and do that blow dry method every single day. Like, who's really doing that? I don't think anybody is. We be friends. Alright, so once I have this pulled down, as you can see, nothing is really perfect, to be honest. It's not going to be perfect, obviously, because everything is still just wet from the glue, which is fine. But, I take this time to go ahead and just kind of get my baby hair or edge area together. So, this is what I'm going to do. And this actually gets kind of tacky kind of quick. So, you want to move a little bit fast. I'm actually just going to go ahead and pull down baby hair. And now, if you're not the type of girl that wants baby hair, please skip this step and just ignore me and skip maybe about a minute or two I don't know but I'm doing me some baby hairs the baby hair actually helps it doesn't even have to really be baby hair because we all know I'm not a baby but it actually helps to lay the wig down even more because it's literally gonna be holding down so I know I keep moving this up
Now this is the time where I'll take some mousse just to really get it going in the direction that I need. Just because the gel can actually, like I said, it gets really tacky. So I need to be able to play with this before it dries on me. On me. <laughs> I'm so country. This is way more baby hair than my life needs. So, I'm going to cut this. And meanwhile, while you were kind of getting the one side together, the other side actually had a chance to get, kind of get tacky. So now's your chance to really just lay that down. You may actually feel that it's tacky. So like I said, you don't need the blow dryer. Boom. Now obviously this needs to be tweezed way more than I thought. But this side is actually going to end up being a, like a little bang area. So this won't even be exposed. And then we all know how y'all feel about this little wispy part right here. So even on this side, I literally just play with the hair till I'm comfortable. Because right after that, I'm going to go ahead and put some more gotta be glue here. And then I'm literally going to tie my entire head down. So once I have this, like, let's see if I have the right hair though. All right, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the gotta be glue right up under it just like that and a little bit on top all right so now that i pretty much have my edges laid that you know just a way that i'm comfortable with if y'all don't like the baby hair like i said don't do it boo just literally put the, uh, the gel all around your edges and then yeah so literally just put the gel all around your edges and then take a scarf so i'm taking this one i should have used like a black scarf this one's kind of like, mm, I don't know about this, sis. I'm liking this hair. The color is really, really dark. Maybe I'm liking it because I haven't worn a wig like in a while. Okay, I'm saying I haven't worn a wig. I've worn like a quick weave, but that had color. And I haven't worn like a wig wig. Okay. All right, so that's what my goal is. Let me get this hair out of the way. This is nice. It's like a nice little Spanish wave or something. <laughs> I wish I knew Spanish because like my name's Christiana and people always ask me like, oh, are you? No, I'm not Spanish. I'm not. I wish I knew Spanish, but I don't. And I'm using a uh, silk scarf because I have made the mistake of using a cotton scarf and y'all, when I tell you, <laughs> I could not move my hair scarf like at all. <laughs> joking it literally was stuck to my wig I had to start all over <laughs> I'm dead I'm dead no seriously I know that happened to somebody else out there like comment below if you use the wrong scar <laughs> oh my god all right babe so now that we have a full face done really quick I'll make sure to leave that link to the video in the either description box or in the very next like end of this video you get what I'm trying to say anyway so this has pretty much been sitting on my face I think it took me about 30 minutes to do my makeup so I actually let this sit on for way longer but again for multitasking so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I should have flawless hair baby <laughs> get rid of that we got edges, we didn't need a blow dryer, we didn't need a professional, like y'all, it's dry, we're lit. And this has literally allowed the hair to like melt into me. Ooh, this is pretty. And it probably only looks better because I have my makeup done now. But this water wave, body wave, what is this, bro? I really should have looked at it before I started this video. <laughs> I just know the hair was so pretty. I haven't gotten my um, 
little curling wand out to be able to show y'all. This is, this is haunts. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through this and kind of brush it out a little bit. I actually set the hair to lay in this way. When I parted it off uh, while it was wet, I actually used like one of the T-pins to literally hold the hair like on the mannequin head right here. So then that way it would do this little swoop. If you're wondering how I'm getting it to do that. So. Well, I was gonna do like a little wand curl session, but I don't even feel the need. Like this is, yeah, this is haunts. Okay. All right, babe, so that's pretty much it for this video. I definitely wanted to make sure that I was here for you guys to give you all the information that you needed to be able to lay your wigs at home, especially if you just buy it fresh out of the pack and you do not have time for a blow dryer, the flat iron, the everything that it takes to do these $300, $400 wigs, y'all. <laughs> You're lucky if you found one for 200 Anyway, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments or questions down below. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.